The Giants facing the Braves. Mike Kruko day in San Francisco. Former pitcher with the Giants had a 20-win season back in 1986. We pick up the game tied at one in the second. Joe Panic at the dish facing Aaron Blair. Hit high. Hit game. It is out of here. And the Giants take the lead. 3-1. Panic, has he done it again? On its way and gone! Just on top of the roof. His second home run of the game. And his third against Aaron Blair this year. Wow. Here's the 2 2. Span, it's a high drive to right. Mark is looking up. It is out of here. It's 5-1. Pitching change after the Braves used a pinch hitter for Kroll, and it's Chaz Rowe. This ball is crushed to right center field by Crawford and headed out into the big, wide open space. One hop on the warning track up against the wall. Posey around third. He'll come in to score. Crawford racing for third. The throw too late, a sliding triple. For Brandon Crawford, six to three Giants. Parker drives it into right center field. Is anybody there? No. Crawford scores. Here comes Belt. The throw to third. Not in time. Belt scores. And a triple for Parker. And they're still going. Brandon Kenneth comes in out of the Atlanta bullpen. Eduardo Nunez who's kind of been left out on the offensive side he does have an infield hit Nunez high drive left field it is out of here and for Eduardo Nunez that one's got to feel pretty good Giants take two of three from the Braves, winning at 13-4. Joe Panic with two homers and ties a career high with four RBIs. The Giants legged out four triples in the game. The last time Atlanta allowed four triples in a game was in 1939 when they were the Boston Bees. How about that? Madison Baumgartner gets the win, allowing three runs in seven frames, striking out five.